We have a microwave here, and as you can see, the glass dish that's supposed to be rotating in there is not, so that's just sitting there. So what I've done is I have bought a new control board, so we're gonna take this apart. What I've done though before, I realized this was the problem. I went under the microwave, and I removed, there's a motor that's underneath here. So I tested that motor, it spins independently so the motor's working, so it's not a motor issue. So it has to be this control board. This new control board. We're gonna and put now it in. before we start working, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna plug this so there's no power coming to it. So I'm gonna unscrew, there's a screw on the bottom here, and then there's also one straight on the top down in here. And I take this top cover off, and there's the screw. Now with that open, we can lift up on this, and this will come free. And it's held in there with the wires, and then there's also a metal bracket that helps keep it in there. I like to take a picture of this so that we know when we need to put it back together how this goes. So now I have them side by side here. It is a, the right control board. We're gonna end up popping this free so we can get this film off of here. And then we're going to unscrew these screws. We're gonna swap these control boards up. And when you're buying these, you can buy the control board and you can also buy it with the panel. Usually it's more expensive. Um, so if your panel's say all scratched up and you wanna get a new um, touchpad, you can do that as well. So now once you have all those, you're just gonna pop this one out. Pop this one in, and then we're just gonna screw that back in And we're just place. gonna make sure we got all these tight. So there's a little black piece here. So we need that to be up so we can slide this in. And this is the piece that allows your touchpad to control or to connect with your circuit board. Once we have that in, we're just gonna push that down in and tight. And then that seals that and now we've got our control board swapped out so we can put this back in but first off you're going to notice there's a lot of grease uh, and oil residue that's on here so you're just going to clean that up first and then now we're just going to start connecting these ends back into place and then next we're just going to put these connectors back in and then i didn't have to discharge the capacitor i wasn't working with anything on that end last one and it is quite small you do have to be careful they are fairly delicate next we'll plug it back in now we're going to test it out and now our plate is spinning stop and it works so if you're having an issue, what I suggest is test the turntable off and on on here. And so that wasn't working. Tested the motor underneath. The motor was working fine. So it ended up being the control board. If you're having any issues, hopefully this helps. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.